All right, yo, what's good? This is your boy Derek Branch here at Memphis Wire on SportsView360.com. And in today's vlog, I got some new news concerning the Memphis Tigers men's basketball program. As it was reported uh, first today by Kidman Hoops that uh, Louisville is trying to set up a um, series with Memphis next year. Not this year, but the following year. And based on the information that has been put out is that they're trying to do a home and home series, a neutral one where um, the site will possibly be Nashville. We playing in Nashville. And to me, that's cool. I think that's um, a great idea, you know, to have, to set up a series with uh, Memphis, as many of you already know, a lot of the uh, old timers from back in the day, alumni, uh, things like that, is that Memphis and Louisville was a heated rival during the uh, um, back in the day of college in the in the heyday of both programs. This was a heated rival of the Tigers. And I was like, I wouldn't mind seeing this, man. Um, because just based on the, my observations, um, since covering it started, you know, being credential, uh, media member of the program since 2019, there has just not been a real, like, rival to Memphis, a true rival to the program since, um, being an American uh, on the basketball side. Now, football is a lot different because in football, you had UCF, uh, had a lot of memorable, memorable games with them. You had SMU, he was a lot of shootouts with SMU. Tulane has been um, pretty much the home team with wins every time. Tulane got a little two game with winning streak going right now, but. In football, you have your rival. You have your rivalries. You know, to me, this in college basketball, I doesn't really see like um, you know, games where it's being you know viewed as like this is the game that you got to go out and see. You know what I'm saying? Because Tulane, you can say Tulane is a Memphis rival in basketball, man, but Tulane is not really like that good, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? To where it's like it gets you um up, gets you like super excited of what could happen, you know. And I know Tulane under Ron Hunter has had uh Memphis's uh number, you know, during the regular season. But still, man, uh Tulane is a program that tends to struggle down the stretch, you know, and I just like it. I prefer Memphis playing somebody like if it was, if we're gonna if we're gonna have, if we're gonna be a rival of Memphis in college basketball in the conference within the, the American Athletic Conference. I prefer that both programs have a lot at stake. You know what I'm saying? To you know that be, be, be that gives some fans give the fans something to look forward to. But that's not been the case, man. To me, you know and. We all know about the Tennessee Vols. You know, they, they don't want to play Memphis. Uh, the last time they were supposed to play Memphis in that, it was, in, it was going to be at a neutral location down in Nashville. But the game got canceled because of the – at the time, the time was COVID-19 and all that. And Tennessee hasn't really, hasn't really, you know, reached out to, like, have another game, you know. So it won't, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind seeing Louisville play Memphis, you know, and based on um, the information is that they're trying to make it a four year series, a four year series. They were, and Penny was saying that they were saying that um, prior to you know Kenny Kenny Payne getting fired. Who is now at uh at Arkansas as an assistant? They want to set up a home and home deal, but you know, 
Payne got fired. Not a guy, a new head coach. You know, but if Arkansas, well, if, if if Louisville could get back to where they once were under this new new regime, if Memphis could get going, you know, get, you know, consistently better, this could be a huge game, you know, for, for both fan bases. You know what I'm saying? And especially now that you're having, you know, the realignment is taking fold and, you know, NIL, you know, in effect now, you really, you know, you really can't have, you know, you're not, you're not going to see a lot of, you know, traditional rival rivalries, you know, um, it's happening in the SEC because they, they kind of, Tweet um their uh, their schedule now. So in the SEC in the Southeastern Conference, you're no longer gonna see those games that you usually see every year where I think it's like, you know, Georgia and, and, and Florida and you know, it's just a bunch of rival game, rivalry games out there you're not gonna see on a yearly basis. You know, so if Memphis can get this thing going again between uh two programs. It will be a, a huge deal, in my opinion. It will be a huge um, opportunity for both programs. So, um, I think now it's up to Memphis to see how they're going to respond. You know, what I'm saying uh, to this report to what the official at uh, Louisville stated. You know, so I don't think they won't have a they don't have a, they wouldn't have an issue setting this up. You know. So we'll see how it play out. And the last time that they played, Louisville and Memphis played. Um, Memphis, um, it was 2014, and Memphis defeated them. At the time, Louisville was like number seven in the country. And the the all-time series between Memphis and Louisville, Louisville leads, leads the series by, by – a margin of 54 to 36. So there's that. All right. So I'm segueing to this other report that came out by uh, Hitman Hooks and a few others. Jalen, well, Jalen Young, Jalen Young uh, posted this on his Twitter, uh, well, they call it X now, but on his uh, page today after careful consideration, a long talk with my family and a lot of prayers. I made the decision to decommit from the University of Vermont and reopen my rec recruitment due to personal matters. I would like to thank the staff at Vermont as well as, <coughs> excuse me, as well as the supportive fan base. This was not an easy decision for me, but it's what is best for my family and myself at the time. At this time, thank you again for all your support, Jalen Young. So. As many of you already know, Jalen Young is a former Memphis Tiger who, excuse me, who entered the transfer portal after um, the end of the 2023-2024 uh, season when the um, season was pretty much over. Jalen Young came over from UCF, transferred to Memphis, saw some time with some playing time on the court um, this past season, ran a point um, in, a, in a couple of games. He contributed when he cut when he can, you know, uh, made a few shots here and there. But um, he decided to go. You know, it is what it is. But based on what I've heard from uh, Park and a few others of the Daily Memphis is that Memphis is one of his uh, – is on the table. Returning back to the to the University of Memphis is on the table. So I don't th I think – I don't think uh, – I don't think Penny, Har Penny Hardaway would have an issue with taking this guy back. You know, he is a guard. He knows Penny Hardaway. He knows the system. Played hard when um he had, he was given the opportunity to. He won't be one of your, your your shot makers on the team or your your the guys that you put the ball in the in the hands of to make something happen. But he is a hard player. He's a hard worker. So it wouldn't hurt to bring this guy back. So there is that. But um. There'll be a few others out there that'll probably be interested in the services of uh Mr. Young. 
Um, also, and NIL is probably going to be a factor as well, but we'll see. And last but not least, uh, Mike Davis has been added to the uh, coaching staff of for the Memphis Tigers men's basketball program. Uh, based on what I've heard uh, from Pitman Hoops and a few others, is that um, Mike Davis? This is gonna. This could be a one year uh, venture between um, Mike Davis and Memphis. So I remember Mike Davis from back in the day. Though I remember um, the time at Indiana where he uh, took over for Bob Knight and they went to the national championship game, lost though. But I remember him from back in the day. You know, um, the last place he was at was at Detroit Mercer, where he got, you know, they did this, him in a school where, well, Davis and Detroit Mercer decided to part ways, usually part ways after a one in 31 season. So the team won one game and lost 31. That's tough right there. So um, he joins the staff that, Recently, um, you know, let go of Andy Borman. Rick Stansberry, the uh, recruiting guru, he comes back to the team. And also, they're going to be adding uh, former Tiger, um, great Andre Turner to the staff. But has been un it's unclear of what his role is going to be. And Turner, from based on what I've heard, is that Turner is not expected to be an assistant head, an assistant coach. But they say that this guy has uh he's kind of like a another version of Stanberry. Uh, really good, uh, has strong recruiting ties. Um resume is, you know, his coaching resume as a head coach is not bad. Um, been to nine NCAA tournament appearances, four at Indiana, one at UAB. Boy, Texas Southern. So he has a deep resume. His resume is not bad, man. And it will not, it will not hurt. Like I always say, it will not hurt to have a guy like this on your team. An assistant with this type of experience. Especially an assistant with that has recruiting acumen. A recruiting acumen that knows what it takes to bringing these type of players. You already have one with Rick Stansberry. It'd be great if you can, if this guy um, comes in and, you know, does what he needs to do to be successful, this would hurt. This would, this would be great for him, for the Tigers. So if things go as planned and it works, I'm pretty sure he, he's going to come here and, Flip this opportunity opportunity into getting another head coaching job. So I don't know where that's going to be at, but be on the lookout for that. But um, it's good to have, I think it's good to have another set of eyeballs on this team that's kind of similar in, in the mold of a Rick Stabsberg. You know what I'm saying? That can a good assistant that um you know, knows the ins and outs of competing in the highest level, compete. Ben, he's been to a national championship game before. Um, coach on the bottom, you know, was on the Bobby Knights, uh, tutelage. So he got skins on the wall, you know? So hopefully Penny Hardaway uses his, 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 his experience to his advantage as the Tigers, Get ready for this upcoming season. So I think this is a good move, man. Good move by the program. And looking forward to see what he does, you know, with this team. You know, what what input can he add that will allow this team to be successful, you know, as they get ready for the uh, upcoming 2024-2025 season. So we'll see. There's that. All right, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like. Comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. What are your thoughts on? What are your thoughts on the Tigers trying to? Well, not the Tigers, but Louisville trying to 
restart the uh, rivalry rivalry with the uh, Memphis Tigers. Um, news of Jalen Young might possibly coming back to Memphis as one of his choices. He had now that was reported today, and also Mike Davis. How that, how do you feel that's gonna affect the program going forward? That's all I have for y'all for right now. Please subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.